Hey guys, it is Friday. It is very early in the morning, and Zur has returned to the tower. He is not in the previous two spots, he is actually over by the faction dudes. So we're gonna go check out what items Zur has for the third week that he has been here. So we've got to come into the tower hangar, go all the way downstairs. And uh, he is hiding out in the corner. A little bit harder to find this week. But uh, you can see the large gathering of people. That kind of gives it away. All the way in the back here. Speak with me. So we pull it up. So you got a pulse rifle, shotgun, and sniper telemetry. Those level up your weapons a little bit faster. Got an emerald coil. So that's going to give a, uh, a green smoke kind of effect for your sparrow and then he has just the regular void drive now let's look at the exotics so first up we have crest of alpha loop alpha lupi for the titan uh, i really like this chest this act this chest actually has a very very high intellect roll i actually am wearing this chest right now and i only have 117 intellect on mine and i actually have uh, a couple of upgrades so 130 intellect on this thing is actually a very very high stat roll uh, the bonuses are very solid, very good bonuses, revive teammates faster, make more orbs, carry more ammo for special weapons, and auto rifles, solid bonuses, solid chest. Go over to the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter. This is also a very, very good helmet. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons and more super energy from non-guardian kills. Super, super good bonuses. I'm not a huge fan of the grenade hits restore melee energy bonus, but otherwise, very, very good helm. And a somewhat high uh, strength roll. And then we have Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. I'm not a huge fan of these bonuses. Good stat roll. But uh, the, the bonuses, you know, activating your super regenerates your health. It's okay. Replenish health when you pick up an orb, okay. Melee hits replenish grenade energy, I like that. Uh, but, you know, if you're still looking for a uh, a helm for your warlock, this is a very cool looking helm, I will give it that. Move over to the Suros Regime. I believe this is one of the best weapons in the game right now. It has incredibly high stability. Very, very low recoil. This thing is an absolute beast. The bonuses on both... the, the Sorry, the main bonuses are very, very good. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage, and the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health while dealing damage. Great, great bonuses. Absolutely highly recommend this weapon. It is a fantastic, fantastic weapon. And then for 23 modes of light, you can buy an exotic helm, uh, engram. It is a random class that you will encrypt it or decrypt it. It will always be an exotic, but the class that you can get it for is completely random. So if you're a Titan, I'm a Titan. If I get this, not guaranteed to get a Titan helm. Um, but overall, very, very solid lineup of stuff this week. Crest of Alpha Lupi for the Titans, very, very high. I'm, I'm considering buying this just for the higher intellect stat roll because 130 is a lot. Uh, Knucklehead Radar, very, very good helm for the Hunters. Apotheosis Veil, I really like the look of the helm. Bonuses aren't fantastic, but if you're still looking for an exotic helm, it's always a solid choice. Suros Regime, if you're looking for a really, really good weapon, definitely pick this up. It is so, so good. But anyway, that is all the stuff from Agent of the Nine for this week, for this weekend. He will be up for the next two days, and then we will see him next Friday. So thanks for watching, guys. Go get some sweet loot from Zer, and I will see you guys later.